Johnson, England's leader, knows just what is required on days such as these. As England go into the final international of the Investec series as everybody's favourite to make it three in a row against the Tri-Nation countries. To see England respond to that billing will be fascinating. South African sporting pride will demand a fearsome response in return. Lewis Moody for England from the kickoff. And Dawson to Wilkinson, who runs the first one to find Cohen. Dawson again. England inside their 22. And being turned over. It was certainly on the cards. And England just couldn't control the situation. Turnover there. You can see England shaded it in weight where they do have a big edge over the spring box is inexperienced, especially in the front row. Lose from Fanny Kirk, the number eight. Not his favourite position, but he came back into the move really well. Recovered the situation for his side. Conradi reunited with Pretorius. The halfback pairing. Now they'll be looking at the posts. And Cohen took it, always the danger there that the ball will rebound into play and then it's anybody's but Ben Cohen didn't have that problem. Well, a very physical start from the spring box there, trying to put the bomb on, test England, but England did very well, Cohen was calm as he's been the last two games. Neil back, so often the sides adhesive, the link between the forwards and backs. This is Fernand Grief, the fullback for South Africa. And it's Neil back again. And a rare mistake from him. Grief is up on him quickly. Robinson. He was thumped to the floor by corner quicker. Crowd didn't like it. Robinson won't like it. South African supporters will love it. Just letting Jason Robinson know he's there. Split second stuff. James Dalton, four years out of the international side. Now restored to Hooker. Didn't start against Scotland last week. And they missed his bite. Pretorius again. Lombard off his wing. As quick as Howl at Lombard. And, uh, Dougie Howlett for New Zealand a couple of weeks ago. Turnover for England this time. Christopher's got an early touch and at least pulls in his wake. He loses the ball in the tackle, but there we saw the Christopher's step. His childhood hero was David Duckham. And there was a bit of the Duckham dash there. And now a bit of afters on the floor. The bite of the bullet. James Dalton, the man they call Bullet, involved there. Still with South Africa, and he's breaking up now, and it's Werner Green coming through. Tap tackle was from Dawson. Had to be made. Conradi to AJ Fenta. South Africa opening up here. Big hit from Will Greenwood. But they still keep it alive wonderfully well. Vessel rule. Richard Hill for England. Thrilling move from the visiting side. Slowing it down. And England will be very relieved to get this penalty. They were stretched almost to the limit. Dawson. Wilkinson. 
Three under it. Tindall lining him up. He saw a tackle bag, not a player. And it's an England penalty. What a fine tackle from Mike Tindall. Van Cohen complains, and this could be even more trouble. We're having a niggle, okay, from both sides. Not putting up with it, I'm going 10, next time it's cards. 10 metres. 10 me metres given to England, which of course makes the kick even easier for Wilkinson. He's now well within his range. But no yellow card for Robbie Fleck. Cohen and Fleck going at it. Shoved his arm there at Ben Cohen. He maintained his discipline, didn't respond. Daft play from Fleck. Very talented individual, but very, very feisty. And he's there to make the hits, but he's also a bit of a liability. With Fleck and James as the centre combination, you know what you're going to get. And you also know what you're going to get from this man. Johnny Wilkinson. England's record point scorer against South Africa. Three more points for Johnny Wilkinson. And Robbie Fleck was lucky to stay on. Delalio will think he has point to prove stay in the there, next stay there, hour stay, or so. Stay. Dawson, Wilkinson, South Africa pile in, they used the big men first but they had a chance to move because England were committed to the run, now England get players across and it's a poor drop goal attempt from James, it's another knock on from England though, this time Dawson. First Wilkinson, then Dawson, although Dawson was a very difficult one to take. It was the first one from Johnny Wilkinson that put his side in trouble. Rue and Carstens must hold it firm for South Africa. They do, and it's Joe Fenley Kirk. Jordan, Pretorius, come away with three points as the policy, and he won't. He would have been winning his 19th cap, Stimson in a stop-start international career. But he stays on the bench, and this is Matt Dawson. Dawson keeps on going. Delalio, Tindall, comes inside. Oh, beautiful step from Graham. He's made it. Cohen strikes again. So clinical. <laughs> Wonderful play from Dawson. Then Delalio, the supporting man. Tyndall kept his call and so did Ben Cohen. And nobody stops Ben Cohen when he's just short of the try line. Well, no one stops going from any distance from the try line. It's a good tackle from Fleck. He just about gets in. But I must say, brilliant play from Matt Dawson, and he combined excellently with Delalio to set that opening. It's England 8, South Africa 0. And that will not become 10 set out in the right direction but just fading across the front of the post look at this lovely break. try though. Uh, look at the break from Matt Dawson that's the running line he's going to take and it just leaves South Africa there in out in they're totally confused and then Delalio in support does quite brilliantly that is wonderful work between the number eight and the scrum half to set it up for Cohen and Tyndall a marvelous try from the base of the scrum and that Dawson break brought back memories of Cape Town, Lions against the South Africa, what, five years ago now? It's a similar sort of run. He went on to score himself that day, he was closer in. Wilkinson, and he 
he's taken late that time. Yanis Labaskakny could be facing a card here. Oh, it's a red card! Labaskakny sent off for the dangerous challenge on Johnny Wilkinson. South Africa down to 14 men, they've just conceded a try. And their tour goes from bad to worse. It was clearly late, there's no deba debate about that. A red card, certainly a yellow card. Well, it's bad. Is it red? What on earth was he doing? No, I think Wilkinson's a little bit groggy still, so Mike Tyndall is saying no. He said, I can take that. I'll punish them, but not with an attempt to at three points, but with worse. A kick to the corner where England will want to hit hard. Here you can see that was Scott He comes through, he's late. I think it's an incredibly stupid offence. I think it's a yellow card. I wouldn't have sent him off for that. There have been many challenges over the years where players haven't been sent off for a similar kind of offence. But Paddy O'Brien is the only one that matters. He's the referee and he decided to send the man off. And Johnny Wilkinson is hunting out another score. It's a mismatch in the air. Cohen. He's got it, I think. It will go to the video ref, who is Jim Fleming. He knows, doesn't he? Let's see if he's done it again. Well, he fumbles, then he regathers. Fleck holds him up, Brighton Porter temporarily, and then down. That's a try. I normally get these wrong. Here's a different angle. He's got the ball. Brighton Porter almost takes it off him. He's fighting away. It's all a question of whether Pulsar gets underneath Cohen. Does he have hands on it? The South African. Well, he's got the ball now, Ben Cohen, hasn't he? And Pulsar does not stop him. And there is downward pressure, I think. <laughs> Cohen losing control, knocking the ball forward into the opponent. Knock on. Extra man, can they make it tell? Delalio, Dawson, Wilkinson, Tyndall. Turning well, finding Dawson yet. Again, it's Wilkinson, and then it's Greenwood, great line. Will Greenwood. No doubt about this one. England ring the bell. And the message is clear. The extra man. It's the width on this, rever this reverse part, right to left from Wilkinson, that makes the difference. South Africa go one way, the check, the big show. If that's a little pop ball, then England are not going to score. But Greenwood has come from so deep, he's just cut them open. No problems for Wilkinson with the conversion. South Africa remain in a huddle underneath the post. They have got to dig deep here. Now, just look at Will Greenwood, spotlighted there. He picks the angle back. It's brilliant play. Wilkinson, he just hands the long ball inside Jordan, and Greenwood spins through the tackle. If it's that little metre pop inside, tackle gets it. But this time, he's coming from a long way off the pace. Great deep support running. Vesselru will be disappointed with his tackle, but that's a good spin and score for Greenwood. Gets behind them, but the penalty given away by the captain. Tay was palming, and Jason Robinson was standing at scrum half as England try the ideas out. Greenwood to Tyndall, no winger there. Cohen was on the inside and took it. Fleck goes over. 
but it's still with England and Greenwood again, Robinson, oh, I see that one coming, it was AJ Fenton that would have hurt, it's a shuddering tackle, Wilkinson, Delalio, Greenwood, I'd say AJ Fenton's working manfully for the spring box. And the sheer weight of tackling and venom in defence from South Africa, typified there by AJ Fenter, leading to this penalty. Aggression for all to see. That's a great tackle. Robinson does pretty well, you know, because he's hit hard by the second row, but he focuses on ball retention. Net result, a chance for Andre Pretorius to cut the deficit to 12. South Africa in desperate need of points here. Pretorius gets to his century, but any personal landmark doesn't matter a jot in this situation. It's about hauling South Africa back into this match, and that's a start. 15-3, England lead now. The young fly half's looking a bit rookie-ish at the moment. Neil back. Finds Tindall. Skips through the first tackle of Yadan. Dawson, Wilkinson, Johnson, back inside, but always with Martin Johnson, two or three metres gained. Penalty going England's way. But James caught Dawson high. And it's all happening out there, and even the referee has taken some now. I think he's smiling. England trying to build this lead. And in there, peerless performer at fly half, Johnny Wilkinson. They have one of the world's best, if not the world's best. Look at that, England have got four backs on the short side. Both centres, Greenwood and Tyndall, Christophers and Wilkinson and Robinson. He's got the open field, and he's a decoy. Tyndall. I don't think they work that blind side well at all. It's another turnover ball. And it's Fleck. It's been a few turnovers that England will not like when they see the video. I just don't know what they're trying to achieve. Every week they seem to do that, and it, it never works. Pretorius got it away in the tackle to Yudar. He's lost it now. A series of mistakes to end this half. <laughs> and that is the end. A half dominated by the referee's decisions. Ben Cohen got a try for England, nearly got another. That was disallowed for the knock-on. But the biggest decision of all, the sending off of Yanis Lubas Kakni, the South African second row. And it's England who lead by 18 points to three at half-time. Lost the ball in contact a few times in the first half, Phil Christophers. Johnson, good ball to Jason Leonard. And then Vickery to Wilkinson. Good rugby for the England forwards. Thompson to Hill, back to Thompson. Lovely interchange, and Delalio doing some gritty work there. That's good play from the England forwards. Hill again involved. The message from the England dressing room, by the way, let's be ruthless in this second half, that's what Andy Robinson said to his players. Dawson has to pick the moment here. He's got it, he's got it. Last day out. And now he's buried, so it's Thompson to Christophers and then Leonard. Presented back to Delalio. Wilkinson, Greenwood, still well Greenwood, well run from Greenwood, well that to me looks like a try, <laughs> again it's to the video referee, there was so much work for Greenwood to do, and it looks like he's done it, but we need this to be confirmed. That was a fabulous show from Greenwood. Lovely control, good width on the England pass in now. 
at the space, tindles the decoy. Ah, that's lovely from Greenwood. Does he get in there? Well, I think the only reason Paddy O'Brien has gone to the video ref is he's blindsided of it. But I think from that angle, he's over. There's more chance of Man City winning the league, Will Greenwood's team, than that not being given a try. Thank you. What a run. What a score. What a player. Will Greenwood's second try of this match. He was England's outstanding player, you know, last season. Absolutely marvellous. He had a poor game last week, no doubt at all against Australia. He kicked the ball too much. I heard some people saying, well, we've got to find a replacement for Greenwood. But Will Greenwood is a world-class centre and he's playing superbly today. And Johnny Wilkinson won't take this kick at goal as he receives treatment and Matt Dawson is the stand-in place kicker. He's done this before for his country. And with kicks like that, he'll do it again. And then the former skipper, another former captain Dawson to Austin Healy. That's what he can do so well. Cohen. Didn't need to do that. Dawson was waiting to release. Plenty of English players lining up. Greenwood with a chip across. Oh, it's brilliantly taken by Vandenberg. It did very well. And certainly, if it was the greatest option from Will Greenwood there, great break from Austin Healy. But Vandenberg, he misses that ball. That's spinning right back into the, a white shirt. Pretorius. Dinky little chip. Well read by Matt Dawson. Has had a terrific series of matches. That one doesn't go to hand though, and still scavenging and fighting away, sometimes literally. James Dalton. There's bodies everywhere. Vickery's down now, Delalio's down, Dawson's down. It's taking its toll now on the South African pack. Their lungs will be bursting. Neil Back has the ball. England have the momentum. Dawson. Healy. Crossfield kick again. Ben Cohen is challenging. Big ooh and ah from the crowd because they know that in those situations Ben Cohen is almost unstoppable but the kick has to be spot on. There were men outside there. I don't think Austin Healy should have kicked that. A lot of white shirts there. Tiring South African legs in defence. Robinson will take this one quickly. Cohen. As England refused to let the move die. Christophers. Opening up now for the winger. Good running from him. Lovely pass from Kay. Tyndall again. Vickery. What a passage of play this is. needs to release it but I think the first offence is for the high tackle not for Christopher's failure to release the ball on the floor I'm going under the sticks yeah right. under. get him beat him yeah we heard under the sticks possible listen, listen, penalty try listen be very careful it's high be careful I'm giving a penalty try he had him beaten it's a penalty try the referee has to be sure that the try would have been scored. And after consultation with the touch judge, Paddy O'Brien decides on a penalty try for this high tackle by fullback Werner Threef. That's a high tackle, all right. He was travelling. It's a good run from the Bristol winger. And I think probably his impetus would have carried him over, momentum would have done the trick. But I think Phil Vickery laid a ghost or two there. You recall when Jonah Lomu trampled all over him, or well, Vickery got the ball on the charge and said, 
I'm going to wreak my revenge on someone else. A great bust from Vickery. Andy Gummersall finds himself kicking at goal. Phil Christopher's denied that try at Twickenham, which would have been some score considering the length of the attack and Jason Robinson's excellent decision to take the quick line out which didn't let South Africa off the hook it's a good step first of all isn't it to buy the space and I think he's going to get in there Johnson's catch they are so close now Thompson just points it in the right direction Neil Back should have this that's the try line, and that's the try. A try to bring the stadium to its feet. On for the back row. Richard Hill gets the pat. Delalio two, and Neil back. What a stunning performer he is in those situations. Well, he's been doing this an entire career at Welford Road. Paul Ingham getting dangerously close to the touchline, but back just burrows over. And great positional referee in Paddy O'Brien. Vickery's there to make sure he doesn't go into touch. One foot, and it's one foot far enough. It's the old combination together again, isn't it? Hill back to Lalio. Well, I think Moody has burst that one open this autumn, but well, what a rich array of talent in the back row. And Andy Gummersall shows what he can do. The swinging arms, you know, some of the South African defenders. Gummersall to Healy, Vickery, Christophers, and still Christophers. Gamasol again, Healy, crossfield kick, my word this time, oh, Richard Hill, Damn it. the bounce has been at him, Richard Hill, knew otherwise. It is a rout. It really is a rout now. And I think Healy... Kicked too quickly a couple of minutes ago, but that one's a beauty. Lovely way. And doesn't Richard Hill deserve it? Scarred and battered, but not half as badly scarred and battered as the box. Healy shapes the pass, changes the mind. Hill's gone wide. Well, it's all going your way. That's a 9 out of 10, straight into touch. Now, murder of laughter for around the ground there is Hill was held by the bounce but it was great awareness and terrific skill and there's another England kicker who can do it from the touchline Tim Stimson do you want to do you want to get down there and have a go from the touchline everyone's getting them it's a lovely kick from Healy isn't it the weight and England uh, they'll claim they've made their luck a good finish from Hill excellent skill from Healy and Richard Hill really enjoyed that one get it down in time It's a white tide and they can't stem it. Back steering. It's not a mere stat. England want 50. And they are very close to getting it. Paddy O'Brien takes a look. Johnson goes in to dig the ball out. Leonard to Cohen. For one stopped in his track short of the line. Gummersall. He leaps. Robinson can't take, Stimson can. Oh, he can. Still Stimson. Gummersall. Thompson pushes it into the hands of Healy. Jinking away, can't find a way through. Tyndall. Now, was that carried over? It was. Five metre scrum. And still time to play. Very little of it, Johnny Wilkinson. 
the onlooker today, or at least part of the day. Well, you know, got to name an Investec man of the series, and it hasn't been Wilkinson's day to day, but England won that game well. But when they needed him most, when they needed the magical creative touches against New Zealand, the boot against Australia, he provided, steered them to the big wins. Wilkinson is the Investec man of the series. And steering towards the try line, it is done. Everybody knows it. White shirts across the line, white flags go up in South Africa. Trundled over and Delalio completes a very, very satisfying afternoon work for him. Given the extra man early in the game, but relentless in their pursuit of their goal in this match. Tim Stimson, the agony is piling. Just think of the reaction back in South Africa to this result. Twickenham has become almost unconquerable. English rugby take a bow. All three Southern Hemisphere Giants cut down at Twickenham in the space of an unforgettable fortnight. We have witnessed three test matches, two to stand the test of time. This one, in the end, a total annihilation of the opposition. And England recording a record 53 points against South Africa. 53. Well, they showed so much potential, so many good touches in the wins against New Zealand and Australia. We kept saying what they need to cement this autumn to really keep the development charging forward with one big win against the Tri Nations teams. You said it, Miles, 53 points from the front row all the way through to full back. England were too strong. 14 men, yes, but against 15, England were going to beat South Africa and beat them well. Perth will now seem a worrying date for the Springboks. For England, it's roll on France. This was convincing.